Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about Gravity Falls. I know it's been off the air for a few years now, mm -hmm. but it was actually one of the better shows to come out of Disney animation in the last, you know, like ever. Yeah, um, it was good. I liked it a lot. And it's amazing the show got made for a variety of reasons. The biggest reason being Disney themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, Alex Hirsch, the showrunner, creator of Gravity Falls, uh, put out a list of actual emails he got from Disney's standards and practices department, things he could not do or say in Gravity Falls. And uh, it is, again, amazing the show ever got made. Right. And some of them are absolutely ridiculous. I, I'd say all of them are ridiculous. Yeah. And uh, it's weird because in this time frame, it's been 10 years since Gravity Falls premiered. In this time frame, we actually had a couple of our own shows optioned mm -hmm. by Disney XD. Now, obviously, we didn't get the green light on those. <laughs> Thank God, after reading this stuff. I, I'm reading this. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I don't I don't think our ideas would have flown mm -mm. there. Um, but thank you for the money. But yeah, it wouldn't, yeah. it wouldn't have flown. And this is why Alex Hirsch is, I think, doing stuff for uh, actual Fox animation now, not the Fox animation at Disney. But it's really well, wasn't that funny. Fox was like, oh, Fox is so, you know, and then they're going to work with him more. Yeah. So let's let's talk about these ridiculous mandates from Disney before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views and rants. Guys, over 270,000 subs. Yay. Thank you for the support. We do talk about animation. We talk about Disney. Um, like we said, we at one point in time had a couple of uh, pitches optioned by Disney. Having an option does not mean they're mm -hmm. going to green light your show. No. It doesn't even mean that you get to the pilot stage. In a lot of cases, it's like we will give you money to squat on this idea mm -hmm. and you can't take it anywhere else until we decide we're done with it. Oh, and you have to agree that if any show they have that happens to come out with the exact same ideas or anything, it's just coincidence and yes. you aren't going to sue them. You, for, their, for the Mickey money... You sign away your rights to uh, pursue legal action if something uncannily similar appears on the air a couple or of years. Or if they already have, have you know, greenlit something, put an announcement out, and then suddenly the title changes to sound just like your project almost and, you know, have some weird changes made to the show they pitched. Be a lot like yours, you know. Similar to so, some... Or so I hear. Wink, wink. Wink, wink. Similar to some of the complaints that maybe they had about some of the characters of the show. Yes. Anyway. Um... Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. Disney uh, Disney tends to complain a lot about their animated projects. Gravity Falls was a huge hit for them, and uh, it was a good show. I, I mean, objectively, I think it was oh, a very I loved good show. It. I don't know how many times the kids have sat through it. They've yeah. watched it many, many times. That being said, it could have been a much spicier show, but Disney had to uh, throw a wrench into that because, of course, they did. They're Disney. So this is coming from Slash Film, and then we'll go out to Alex Hirsch's uh, Twitter. I think they have it in here. The real and ridiculous notes Gravity Falls creators received from Disney. It's been 10 years. Uh, they talk about uh, how the show has has uh, you know resonated with a lot of people. It's still popular. It's still popular. As fans of the series know very well, Disney runs a pretty tight ship, and Gravity Falls had a tendency to test the limits with smart and occasionally risque per Disney standard jokes. That's true. Uh, sharply written and no stranger to dark humor, Gravity Falls championed the kind of absurdity that was celebrated by kids and appreciated by adults. That's that what was great about it. Everybody liked it. Um, for Alex Hirsch, it often meant being reined in by some pretty strict script notes. Reined in might be a bit of a stretch because Hirsch was always up for the challenge of pushing back. Uh, and I think if the show had not been as big of a hit as it was, he wouldn't have gotten very far pushing back. But he did get to push back on some of it. The result was a ridiculous number of hilarious exchanges between Hirsch and Disney's standards and practices division. We could only imagine which jokes set them off and what throwaway lines Hirsch fought to defend, but imagine no longer because Hirsch gifted fans with a Twitter video that compiles some of the weirdest censorship requests he got from Disney. And trust me, whatever you're imagining, it's a million times funnier. It's pretty funny, actually. Um, so here, ever curious about it? Here's some, here's some of the ones. Oh, it'll be a fly in the wall. Uh, Disney apparently spends the day in crisis over the term chub pup. Right, because they said that chub has connota sexual connotations. Yeah, but in the in in context, chub pup meant like you know, oh look at look at the chub. You know, you're not talking about chub pop. Which you're not is looking. Yeah, you're not looking. You're not talking about penis. Uh, somebody typed out the message, please review Seuss's line about dressing as a giant teddy bear. It may call to mind the people who dress up as stuffed animals as a furry fetish. So they're mocking furries. 
They're mocking furries, yes, and Mickey Mouse is their mascot, and they pay right. teenagers to dress up like. They Mickey were Mouse. mad about Lucifer being in one about one episode Lucifer because it might offend people, and and the cat in Cinderella, his name is Lucifer. I know, right? So let's look at some of these. Uh, September 9th, twenty eleven, page thirty one. Please revise poop face, as it comes across as a replacement for shit face. Well, it is. Mm -hmm. Prior use of Mabel saying poop, poop, and butts in the episode Fight Fighters came across as more childlike and not as offensive. Well, I don't think poop face is extremely offensive. No. It is. So, and then he usually, like, makes a comment back. Yes, I've never met a human on Earth of any age who would be offended by a cartoon saying the word poop face. Poop face. I, I always joke with people. I'm like, what a poop face turd monkey that, that person is. But You're not allowed to say that. Disney would, Disney would come after you. Yeah. Um, not changing it. Disney would come after you. Page 492, it has come to our attention that hoo-ha is a slang term for vagina. Please revise. Yes, hoo-ha is definitely a slang term for vagina. But you didn't know that? Could could he have just used the actual word vagina? Well, it's not even, no, but here's the thing. In the context he's using it, it's not even used in that context. It's like Al Pacino, like hoo-ha. Yeah, it's hoo -ah, like that. Yeah, it's like celebration. It's not like, you know, you know, yeah, because I'm celebrating vaginas. That was Disney a few years later. It's a proper word meaning excitement or hullabaloo. And that is clearly its meaning here. The context is an owl-themed restaurant called Hoo Ha's Jamboree. I, I do like it if you think about the other context, though. Hoo Ha's Jamboree like is... But Hoo Ha's Jamboree in the context of vagina is much more fun. Please revise Chub Pup on t-shirt. Chub has a sexual connotation. It's not penis pup. It's not hard on pup. It's a chubby dog. Chub Pup. <laughs> <laughs> sound bite. It's not penis pup. It's not hard on pup. It's a chubby dog. There, you should make that your ringtone. <laughs> Neon's <laughs> calling. It's not penis pup. It's neon. Damn it. <laughs> well, my, my ringtone when you call me a star gentle uterus. So, you know, I can't say anything. There's nothing gentle about that. <laughs> this is silly. It's an image of a fat dog. From the context, there's no reason to think that chub means anything other than that. Oh, wait. Disney goes on. Well, now, now I want to interject here. This is part of what is going on now, though. People are like, why is Disney getting so weirdly political? Because they are so absolutely terrified of offending anybody mm -hmm. that they've got people whispering in their ears and being like, well, you can't say that. You can't say, you can't say ladies and gentlemen because it offends people. Yeah, pretty much. Well, that I guess then they said that and they said... This is what they said back. We have ran this phrase up the line, and unfortunately, the concern surrounding it still remains. If you'd like to send me some alternate phrases, I can run those and let you know what becomes of it. Fuck dog. Yeah, no, you know, penis pup, um, hard dog. Hard <laughs> dog. So, uh, yeah. Hot dog. They've got, yeah, like any kind of wiener... Wiener boy. I don't know. That sounds bad. But then they kind of, he does give them some alternate alternate phrases. Chubby pup, tub pup, chubbity pup pup. I can't believe I have to do this. Page 380, please revise the action of Blubs putting his arm around Durlin. Oh, yes, we can't do right. that. Um, so oh, now you can. So this is this is what's so funny about this, because we did a video, I think it was last year, Hirsch came out and said that Disney would not let him say gay in Gravity Falls, right? And it was just, it was like a side Oh, so that story. was the actual don't say, gay, don't say gay. Yeah, Disney is telling, Disney is telling Alex Hirsch not to say For gay. For legitimately saying don't say gay. Yes. Now, what's funny to me too is Disney's all in on this now because they're they're already trying to preemptively say that Buzz Lightyear's not going to perform well because of the, the LGBTQ you know, scene in it, which is not true. You look at the reviews, people are not saying that. No. That's what they don't like. No one cares. They're already starting with their Strange Worlds, whatever they have coming out this fall and Thanksgiving. Which actually looked pretty good. Yeah. I thought it looked pretty good. They're already starting with the, well, well there's going to be a, a gay relationship in the, with the teen gay relationship, which people probably aren't going to care about. But they're already preemptively starting to make it a big deal so that if you don't like it, it's because you're against teen gay people, which so, is stupid. Just make it organic and don't mention it until you people can see the movie and then they, they probably won't care. Yeah, that would that would be the better way to do it. Just be like, hey, we put this movie out. I hope you like these characters. Oh, by the way, one of them just happens to be gay. Just like in real life, you might occasionally come across gay people. Yeah, in you real might be life. friends. You know, I mean, what's funny to me is when they don't do it with the movies where they have straight people in it. They didn't say, "Don't just so you know, these characters are straight." 
because no one cares. Mrs. Hoo-ha, yeah, she's got a vagina. And you know what? Chub Pup over here, he likes to tap it. Yeah, because they're straight. <gasps> no one cares. I know, it's hard to believe. Just show don't tell. Some... But not, not Chub Pups. And Chub Pup likes to don't put it in the hoo-ha. Don't, don't show and not tell those things. But I'm just saying, you know, when it comes to just show us the movie. Show us we don't the movie. need to know who's sleeping with who for every before the movie starts. That, don't care. That should be the tagline. Just, just show us the movie. Show, show us, us the movie. movie and let us make up our own mind if it's a good movie or not. Screen the movie. Uh, play, yeah, page 380. Please revise the actions of the sheriff. Uh, as noted in previous concerns, their affectionate relationship should remain comical versus flirtatious. Concerns. We have concerns at Disney about your gay. Don't say gay. Don't say gay. Yeah, it's Disney okay time. when yeah Disney now Disney's like all about it, but yeah you know, before they were like don't say it. Nope, they're they're buddies. Chill out <laughs> till the end he of did, the show. <laughs> till the end of the show. The gesture is approved in this context. <laughs> <laughs> Page 50, please replace G's as the term is considered an abbreviation of Jesus. I say G's all the time. I don't think the disciples called him that. No, I'm I don't think. Sure I don't think. I, I've never. I, I just say G's. I never heard it was being a uh, whatever. Please revise Holy Christmas as it could be perceived as religiously offensive as opposed to unholy Christmas. I know, right? <laughs> I mean, come on. No, no. Uh, take. Yeah, take the Christmas off of it. We didn't mean for you to take the holy... Yeah, take the Christmas part out. Just holy. Holy. It's stupid. No one's going to get offended by that. No, this is Disney. Please revise Seuss's line about... Yeah, this is the one. Dressing as a giant teddy bear may call to mind the people who dress up as stuffed animals as furry fish. But people... People dress up as furries all the time. Does it, In Disney parks. So Disney... Disney... Yeah, it's actually their own characters. But beyond that... So Disney is... Uh, you know, says, don't say gay and furries are bad. This is Disney. Please revise Wendy's response, ah crud dang, as crud has an inappropriate slang definition. Do I want to know? They have crud cutter. I, what, I don't even know what the inappropriate... To so get the soap scum out what, of the tub. No, 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 I, I get don't. that, but what is the appropriate slang definition of crud? I don't even know. That's how out of touch I am. I have no effing idea. Because we're old and we're straight and we don't get all this, this ding dog dang... You know, you know what? They probably have some, some, somebody, hey there, fellow kids. I'm hot and happening and I'm up on all the slang. You hot know? and happening? Oh, can't say that. Hot and happening. It's slang for something else. Oh, God. oh crud dang is not. Oh, crud dang. How is, <laughs> exactly. I don't blame you. S&P is not okay with saying the word Lucifer. Please revise. Yes, because. I see no reason to change it. The devil isn't real. And also. I am really surprised he didn't bring up Cinderella, like you mentioned. They have yeah. a cat named, named Lucifer. Lucifer. Uh, and did we did we see Fantasia? We had a demonic Chernabog character with devils dancing, and they put it on all their merch at Halloween time. Not to be confused with the TV show Lucifer, which is a very good show. That I haven't seen it real. lately. I haven't seen it at the end of last season, though. I need to watch that. Please revise. S&P is concerned we will get complaints about such mentions of Lucifer, Satan, and or devil. But we can have the pyramid with the all-seeing eye, and that's fine. Yeah, I know, right? So what if we get a complaint? The current line, scrimshawed from the tusks of Lucifer himself, is the kind of stuffy, non-political, old-timey, purple prose like you'd see in Moby Dick. It's 100% less offensive to any religion than Mr. Toad's wild ride hell scene is in Disneyland. Very accurate. Our usage is patently defensible, and you can respond to a complaint like this. <laughs> Make sure you have time to read it. Sir or madam, we respect your religion, but this fanciful public domain language is used in a spooky Halloween-like context and in no way represents a commentary on any belief system whatsoever. Please eat this Mickey-shaped cookie and enjoy this cute, classic, family-friendly Disney cartoon. Yes. I thought it was. I thought it was going to be like. I was a parent. Eat this cookie and go. I I was a parent of kids that were that were the target demographic for this show who loved this show, and you know what? I never found anything in the show that I was like, oh, oh my god. Now this this is highly ironic because Disney has done a 180 because mm -hmm. now they're not they're not pandering to the religious right; they're pandering to the religious left. Why should we be held hostage to whatever imaginary knee jerk career complainers? who would conceivably go out of their way to pretend to be offended by this. And I, I agree with that on both extremes. Yes. 
Just don't look the old Disney stuff when Walt was in charge was pretty spicy. Some of it was pretty spicy for the the time. Uh, the comics I worked on, I worked on Disney comics for years, especially a lot of the older stuff. Now they had me oh, go. Mickey in. was way scrappier. Mickey was way scrap. Mickey freaking had a guy to take guns out of Mickey Mouse comics. That's what I did. I took mm -hmm. guns. So we had to have Mickey putting his hand behind his back. Mickey pointing up in the air for no reason whatsoever, pointing at an armed criminal. Please don't shoot Minnie in the face. You know, when in the original comic, he actually had a gun and he was going to blow Pete's head off or whatever. Yeah, but you can't do that because it might that. offend somebody. I just like, you know, they're going to have, you, you can do a, a show about puppies and kittens and somebody's going to be offended by it. There's no Chuck way you're going to win. Yeah, we, yes. There's no way you can win. So don't even engage. Just be like, well, I'm sorry. Sucks for you. That wasn't the intent. You Chub, know? pup, and juicy kitten. So, yeah, no, no, hoo-ha kitten. Hoo-ha, oh my God, hoo-ha kitten. There you Real go. review and context. They come back again. The oh, gag, I guess I didn't. The gag with the basketball player throwing the pet chimp through a basketball hoop will most likely be problematic. We would need to run the scene by our Disney animal consultants for acceptability, especially with any primate inclusion. And they're still doing this. Still we told much. you they changed the Jungle Cruise. And their idea was to get rid of the natives and replace them with chimpanzee animatronics. But they had to run it through their animal consultants to make sure they weren't being offensive to the chimpanzees. But they replaced brown people with chimpanzees. Yes. Just let that sink in. Let that sink in. But then they literally had that to go through their of... animal consultants to make sure that the chimpanzees are being portrayed, you know, sensitively and they weren't going they weren't doing anything offensive to chimpanzees. And I am not kidding. Who gives a fuck if the chimpanzees are offensive? They will eat your freaking face off. That's right. I don't care if the chimps are mad. Let the chimps be mad. Freaking chimps. Also, the monkey's name, Salacious Monk Monk, <laughs> is problematic for S&P as the salacious part is inappropriate. Please revise. Yet they own Star, Star Wars. Wars. Right, right, yes. That's what Juicy I said. Juicy Monk Monk. <laughs> that was... This is maybe the dumbest collection of notes I've ever received. Seriously, reread the entire paragraph out loud. We just did. It's it's pretty stupid. They own Star Wars. They own Star Wars. Salacious well, let's change the name because it's problematic. They already changed Slave 1. Oh, yeah. We can't have Slave 1. It's just Boba's ship. No, they gave it like Firestorm or Fire something like that. It was like Fire the, spray, that was the it. brand. It's Didn't like, even care. You know, quick to, instead of, you know, uh, Knight Riders, like quick to Trans Am. Yeah. Right. Can't call it Kit because, you know. <laughs> To talking it starts with a K. That's a problem. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. It's an acronym. It's It starts with a K and it's an acronym for something. So can't um, have that. Can't have that. Please revise the text on Tambri's flyer. Bottles will be spun. This implies they're playing spin the bottle. We don't want to send the wrong message to our audiences. Um, and then they're like, that's what exactly what they're playing. This gets way <laughs> that teenagers like kissing. How on earth is that the wrong message? It's on the flyer. We don't even show it. You got to be kidding me here. Can verify. Can verify. This is what it's like. Can verify this is what it's like. I mean, just little things. Like, we did uh, PR shit for Disney, and I would get notes back. You didn't have the trademark on the right place. The trademark. We, you didn't, you know, give the... Yeah, like, you had to name the entire whatever experience was. Couldn't say, hey, we went on the whatever. It's like, no, no, no. And I had to have a trademark. And I, I said this before. When we were working with Disney and we're working on the other blog... I would never hear back from them if we were like running down Star Wars or running down Marvel Comics or whatever. But if if we got the name slightly wrong on a new attraction or a food item, or you didn't or have the trademark exactly the way you just abbreviated it or something, we get an email or a text uh -huh. message. Oh, you, you need to change that. It's not. It's it's called the um, International Food and Wine Festival trademark, not just the Food and Wine Festival. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, you think we're kidding. We're and totally we're not serious. Kidding. It's, this is what it's like. S&P is still uncomfortable with this flyer, giving the impression that it is a makeout party. Teenagers making out? Oh, that never happens. They're seeing the circle and everything else, too. Wait, it gets better. Oh, my God, circle jerks? It gets better. That's where Chub Pup comes in. No, it gets better. They're playing um, with their Chub Pup. Spin the bottle. <laughs> What's a makeout party, and where can I find one? Well, from what I hear... He had no problem finding a makeup party. So. Fine. Yes. That's another <laughs> video that we did not make. No. We did not make that video because I cannot substantiate any of those wild rumors. Mm -hmm. Anyway, he's found many makeup parties, as I understand it. That's his business. Fine. We'll remove the line. 
bottles will be spun. Please replace with a new line, not S and P approved. I thought, it's what he said. He said, "Okay, fine, take it off because it's not. No one's seeing this poster. No. We'll take it off, but put the not. And like they do put it on there. They did. Yeah, they put it on there. Please omit not S and P approved on the party flyer. Wake <laughs> is better. Some of the sense of humor must rain. I don't see what the problem with this is. And then. Not SP approved has been approved. By <laughs> I think someone has a sense of humor a little bit. Oh my God. But then there was one that it was like the song. It was like, um, there once was, it was a man from Nantucket, but they changed it and man oh, from here, Kentucky. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my God. There's more. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here's a couple. Um, page 19, please revise Mabel's line is let's go get two dodos and force them to make out. This plays is too adult for our audience. Let's look at the context here. Mabel's talking about traveling back in time, picking up two extinct birds and bonking their beaks together while making smooching noises. How could this possibly be offensive? Approved in this context. Yeah, you have to stop the thing you're playing it down below. Oh, I don't want to play it. Play you with have it to, down don't below. Don't prematurely play with it. Play it. Not approved by S and P. <laughs> so if if I have a delayed play, is that okay? Yes, approved by S and P. Minute 123 in the movie poster for the movie Horse Dad. Please omit the pipe in the horse's mouth. Why? Is it concerned that we'll influence horses to smoke pipes? This is another funny story. <laughs> oh, God, I've got so many funny stories. This is also true. Um, so, yes, in my, my late stage Disney comics career, uh, embarrassingly, I had to go through and help censor Disney comics that were created before current year. Like, we're talking comics that were maybe... 10, 20 years old in some cases, had to remove all the, the cigarettes, had to remove all the pipes, or if they had a pipe, it had to blow bubbles, had to remove had to guns. Blow bubbles. Get that. Bubbles. Guns. Um, one of the last things I did is I worked on the Fanagraphics Don Rosa books, and which was an honor because I love Don Rosa. I'm a huge Don Rosa fan. You're one of the few people who are allowed to touch this. I, I actually had Don's approval. And you think Disney S&P is bad? Don Rosa's notes? On, on reworking his stuff is like... Well, can you blame him? It's his I don't stuff. blame him. It's his stuff. That was the deal. The deal was, you know, I want a primo collection of my, my right. stuff here in the States like I have overseas. And Fanagraphics made the deal with him. And the, the caveat was, you know, we will do whatever you want, Don. So he had, like, laundry lists of notes. And that's fine. He's Don Rosa. He can, you know, whatever he wants he can to tell, do. He can tell Neon what to do. He can day. tell me what to do, right? I'm Don Rosa's bitch. That's fine. Um, so anyway... Uh, yeah, the back cover of the one book, we've got Scrooge with a ray gun, obviously a ray gun, but it looked too threatening, and they went back and forth with Disney, and they had to come back and like make it like Buzz Lightyear colored, so it wasn't actually threatening. But in that book, Scrooge actually also had handguns at some point, and I'm really surprised they left the joke in about the with uh, Scrooge and Goldie, um, the in between the legs. They had mammoth legs, and they had oh. to go in between the legs, and that went over their heads. But yeah, part of the reason Don Rosa won't work on Disney comics anymore is he got tired of having to jump through these hoops. And not only that, but he would do work for like Egmont or one of these other publishers. And they were like, well, we own your stuff now. Mm -hmm. You do these originals. And that was part of his income was, you know, he sells the original art and they're like, we own your, your work. And it was a mess anyway. Um, yeah, completely, completely agree. This is exactly what it's like working. This for. was funny though. Please revise the Limerick referencing there once was a man from Kentucky. S&P is worried that unsavory rhymes could be gleaned from it. Oh, wait, it gets better. That's the joke. No, it's, it's not even there. They, they didn't even have it to go anywhere. So you could form your own. That's why they did it the way they did it. And so then he says, why? Man from Nantucket is the famous dirty rhyme, which I decided to avoid altogether. To make your lives easier, I made up a totally new one. Man from Kentucky, which has the same lovely syllable structure, but no pre-invented ending. It gets better. There once was a man from Kentucky. He liked to go to Tuha's for some sucky. Oh. See what I did there? Oh, see, no, no. Keep going. He, he, Sucking he, a lollipop. There's, there's more. Just hold on. Okay. Um, We're getting there. We're getting there. That's what you tell me every... No, sorry. <laughs> S and, not S&P approved. Not S&P approved. I can't even imagine a logical way to get fuck out of that. What would that even sound like? There once was a man from Kentucky who misspelled the word fucking god fucking. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> oh, so when it gets better... 
He, it gets make, better? He does. He makes up his own for Man from Kentucky. It's pretty funny. Okay. Um, keep oh going. God. It's like a long... Okay. More likely would be there once was a man from Kentucky who spent hours with his pet rubber ducky. The duck got away. Twas such a sad day. It turns out Kentucky's unlucky. There you go. And then they're saying about the duck and the, with the F word, which, which is another funny story. Who's to say how this is made up poem ends? How could someone complain about something that's only in their heads? And then I think in the comments, it might even been the comments he said about it being, yeah, S&P still feels like <laughs> Bucky would come from Ducky. Now, in S&P's defense. <laughs> Only if Ernie's involved. No, listen. No, wait, no, no, no. In their defense, that does happen. Because Neon went to send a, a letter to his editor once. And the phone autocorrect Duck, because it's about Duck comments, to fuck to his editor. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't understand how that happened. I think Apple was just messing with me. But it was, I remember, it was like Christmas Eve. And I was going back and forth with my editor. And this was, this is on the Disney stuff. And I was like, hey, I'm going to have more duck comics for you after Christmas. And while being, I'm going to have more fuck comics for you after Christmas. And I think his reply was something like, wow, I can't wait to see that. <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 no. That's that's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. Anyway. Um, so yes. can confirm. Can confirm 100%. This is what it's like. Who should I call to have this conversation personally? <laughs> Didn't get an answer to that, did we? Or no, that, that was shown. Oh, my so, God. So, yes. Um, it goes on and on. People were, like, commenting back, but completely believe this 100%. Oh, because, my God. Uh, Ran into some of these same things. Well, not the exact same, but like some of the situations like with guns and stuff like that ourselves. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. It's, I mean, but it's so weird that we've gone from, you know, let's not offend the religious people and keep the gays out of the cartoons. Yeah, don't say gay. To a complete 180 in like eight years, you know. Yeah. Seven, it's eight like, years. let's offend all those people and then put it, make sure everybody knows that there there's gay people in this, in the show or cartoon. Like, Aver- most people don't care, it. but most people don't even care. Did anybody, nope, I don't, I don't know anybody who cared that the cops ended up being gay in the end. Did you, do you? That was the joke. Yes, I that, thought so too. That was the joke. We didn't care. Kids didn't care. No, Nobody thought like, anything well, of it. These guys are partners in more ways than one. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so what? I don't know. Anyway. We're going to wrap but this up. But furries are still bad, right? Furries are still unless, bad. Unless, unless they're, unless they're in costume. They're Disney furries. Then, hot damn. If you're a friend of Mickey, you're fine. We're going to wrap this up. Yep. I can confirm, though, this is exactly what it's like working with them on anything. Uh, anything. It will take you forever. Oh, my God. Okay, I got another one real quick. Oh, let's think back. Let's think Speaking back. of taking forever. Okay. One thing. Uh, I, once I did a, a cover with... Test Track. It was, oh, yes. And Test Track has a guardrail, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so I drew the attraction the way it was supposed to be done. And this is, this is I think, when I was doing through. This is Ryu W, yeah. Yeah, it was one of the last things I did. And I'm like, I forgot I even did it until now. And I'm thinking about how stupid it was. Yeah, they had me take the guardrail. As I recall, they had me take the guardrail off the attraction because they didn't want people to think that their rides were unsafe. By taking the guardrail yes. <laughs> off of the high-speed attraction, but making sure that they all had their seatbelts on. All the ducks in the but car. The ones, they're kind of flying out of the car a little bit. A little bit. But all the ducks had their seatbelts on, and Uncle Scrooge was losing money had money in his hair. I forget. Yeah, he was reaching for the money or something. Something like that. And I had to take, we went back and forth. I'm like, but the ride has a guardrail. Yes, but you can't put the guardrail on the high-speed race car ride because we don't want people to think that the ride is unsafe. I'm like, that's why the fucking guardrail is there. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it? That's why so we have a guardrail. You had to literally go back and take the, to the, that luckily it was digital. It was digital. But so you had like, to go oh, remove yeah. the whole thing, which took a while. So that's out there somewhere. And I was at that point, I was just like, yeah, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm out. We're going to wrap this up. Yeah. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.